Swallowed Star Fresh blood flowed onto the moss, staining the ground red. The decapitated body of the wild man was still slightly twitching on the ground. This aura, is like a rose. Beautiful yet with thorns. Luo Feng shook his head. The moment one is unable to withstand the willpower, he would become a true mad demon, with no sense of logic. It's no different from death. The books had long explained that the ancient god ruins had attracted a large amount of warriors from Blood River continent. At any given time, there were many who were unable to withstand the intense killing aura, in turn, losing all sense of reason and becoming demons who only knew how to kill. This was no different from wild and savage beasts. However, to become strong, countless people still headed here. That's strange. Luo Feng frowned. This bottom area shouldn't be too huge. I estimated it to have a diameter of only 10,000 kilometers. And he's a domain level 1 strength. His flying speed should be very fast. In theory, a demon with low intelligence has no difference from a savage beast. Hence, it is not possible for it to stay here at the bottom. Luo Feng was suspicious. If one placed a cat in a house and didn't lock it up, it couldn't remain there forever. One theory was that the huge pit, to a domain level 1 demon, wasn't huge at all. Did he just become a demon here? Is there such a coincidence? These two years I haven't entered the bottom. Yet, the moment I do, I meet a demon. Luo Feng felt that things weren't quite right, frowning as he looked at the red aura before him. Within the depths of the huge pit on a certain platform, the bronze-armored silhouette sat cross-legged. He opened his eyes and surveyed below, simultaneously communicating, Lord, the blood demon has been killed, let me settle this punk. No need. A voice filled with thick killing aura resounded in his ears. In the vast endless bottom, within that blood-red palace, a terrifying energy suddenly exploded. At the same time an alluring blood-red light rushed out of the palace. The blood-red aura revolved about. Even with Luo Feng's amazing vision, he could only see ten kilometers clearly, he could only see a blurry huge body. Rumble. Powerful pressure. Just like the some distant ancient demon god had appeared. Not good. Luo Feng's expression changed, immediately swiftly rushing into the sky. Who? Before me, you cannot flee. A thick voice resounded in Luo Feng's ears and mind. Hmm. Luo Feng's expression changed and he looked upwards. In mid-air, he saw a majestic silhouette. This person was dressed in a blood-red long robe, with long hair that reached his legs and had eyes that were a peculiar blood-red. His presence there gave off the feeling of an endless blood ocean. That blood-thirsty aura, made even one's soul tremble. What a terrifying being! Luo Feng's gaze focused. Since his willpower was incredibly sturdy, he was able to defend against the enemy's energy pressure. Oh my! Luo Feng was shocked. Tamed blood demon. That warrior that had completely been taken over by the killing aura's willpower and had been reduced to a mad demon, was actually tamed. Right, after becoming a mad demon it didn't have any intelligence and had only the basic killing intent. His intelligence as low as a wild beast. If one's power was very strong, like taming wild beast, there was definitely a way to control this mad demon. However, the mad demons normally could only slaughter. You have two choices now. One, submit to me, blood god, and become one of my blood god guards. Henceforth, when I take over the world, you will be one of my loyal subjects. When I become the most exceptional and glaring being of Blood River Continent, you too will receive eternal glory. 2. Go against me, and that will lead you to your death. The blood-red-robed man looked down on Luo Feng, making him shudder within. What was going on? 
He had just killed a mad demon and a terrifying and powerful being, at least a sector lord level 1, otherwise he wouldn't be able to force himself to submit unable to resist. Right now this absolute being was pressuring him to submit. He was a virtual universe company core member. How can he possibly submit to a warrior of Blood River Continent? Submit, or death. The blood-robed man gazed down at Luo Fong. I'll give you ten counts to decide. Ten. The blood-robed man's eyes which were completely red seemed to hold within them endless killing intent. That terrifying willpower pressure had completely descended on Luo Fong, and Luo Fong was like a solid rock trying his best to resist. 9. 8. 7. Like a god raging, the entire space trembled. Luo Fong felt the pressure about get more shocking, and that blood-robed man's killing intent grew heavier. Luo Fong didn't even suspect that if he didn't make a decision at the end, the enemy would just kill him. From the enemy's incomparably clear willpower, he could tell. This was a warrior that had slaughtered countless. He was one with exceptional pride and confidence, and he didn't allow anyone to go against him. 3. The voice was cold, his eyes gleaming with chill. Right now I have two choices. One is to immediately transform to the Masha and instantly escape as far as possible. Simultaneously entering the automaton ship. Using the ship to accelerate and rush to the skies out of the 18 cloud levels. The automaton ship is an E-grade ship and is the pinnacle of ships. It belonged to an automaton undying. This man before me, from what I can tell, shouldn't be undying. I have 99% confidence of fleeing. Second choice is to submit. Because he obviously regards me as a genius, hence at least my life won't be in danger. With the first way, the moment I escape, it would reveal my outsider identity. It would result in the entire continent's governing body wanting to kill me. Then I wouldn't be able to return, to the ancient god ruins, which has beneficial effects for my absorption of the Blood River Crystal. If I wanted to acquire more crystals, the moment I leave, I would lose all chances. In an instant, many thoughts flashed in Luo Feng's mind. 2. The blood-robed man's aura began to change. Lord! Luo Feng knelt on one knee, with the most proper bow to a superior used in Blood River Continent, he knelt and shouted. Immediately, the blood-robed man floating in mid-air revealed a smile. He looked satisfied at Luo Feng. Very well, your talent, should be amongst the top three of my blood god guards. I like high talents, and people who know how to make decisions. From now on, you'll be my blood god guard 97. So. 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 Uniformly, the 96 bronze armored silhouettes knelt on one knee, saying respectfully in unison, Congratulations Lord, congratulations. Ha ha, ha ha ha, the blood-robed man laughed loudly. Number 1, you are in charge of teaching 97. The blood-robed man laughed loudly, following which he became a blood-colored beam of light and swiftly vanished. Luo Fong looked at the surrounding 96 bronze armored silhouettes and was filled with shock within. By using his strong consciousness and willpower to feel about, he could deduce that among the 96 before him, 94 of them should be domain lord level, domain level, and two were actually sector lord, world level. 97. A tall bronze armored warrior walked over, he smiled. Congratulations on becoming one of our blood god guards. You are the only cloud level of the blood god guards. Just what are the blood god guards, and, who's the lord? Luo Fong was curious, asking. Ha ha. Our lord is an exceptionally rare genius, who could only be found one in a trillion years, from the undying shrine. The tall warrior's voice resounded loudly and was filled with pride. 
and in the undying shrine, our Lord's status, isn't lower than some of the undying spirits. The other group of bronze armored silhouettes, many were filled with excitement and worship. If the Lord wishes, he could break through to undying in a short time. The tall warrior said proudly. Only, he doesn't want that little achievement. You must know, our Lord has already absorbed eight Blood River crystals. What, eight? Luo Foam was startled. My God! After absorbing ten Blood River crystals, one could become the legendary Black Warrior. And it was supposed to only be a legend. The tall warrior was satisfied at Luo Feng's shock, nodding, right. Our Lord's aim is to become the legendary Black Warrior. For you to become one of the Blood God Guards, you should feel proud. Because, there are countless who wish to become one of us, yet they cannot receive the Lord's recognition. Isn't becoming a Black Warrior extremely hard? Luo Fong was curious, asking, from the books I've read, becoming a Black Warrior is almost simply a legend. However, to become a Blood Warrior, people still have some hope. But of course. The tall Blood God Guard laughed loudly, Black Warrior, that is the pride of our Blood River continent. Only after an immeasurable amount of time will one be born. And it's been very very long since we've had a Black Warrior. After all, absorbing the Blood River Crystals, every one would have an increased requirement of ten times from before, and every person's body has a limit. After a certain extent, the killing aura of the ancient god ruins won't have any use on the body. At that time, then that'd be no hope. Luo Foam was shocked. Limit? Right, he had only absorbed two crystals currently and the killing aura was still benefiting his body. However one's body would have a limit after all. When that is reached, even staying in the ancient god ruins wouldn't be effective at all. Let's hope that my body can take more. Luo Foam thought. Come, 97. Let me introduce you. The tall blood god guard walked towards the others. I am the captain of the guards, number one. You'll call me captain from now on. This is number two, the vice captain. 97. How do you do 97? The many bronze armored warriors walked up to introduce themselves to Luo Fong, because they were all clear that the title of blood god guards were the closest guard team to the blood god. They were like his right arms. In the future, their group would go through thick and thin together. Hence, they had to get close and be on good terms with each other. After all, they would become life and death brothers. 97, you are the smallest. Small and young. Ha, huh, 73, don't look down on 97. This 97 is the only cloud level that has been allowed in. You bunch of punks. 97, he even killed a blood demon. According to the levels of the outsiders, that is a domain lord level 1 blood demon. The blood god captain number 1 laughed loudly. Their levels are 10 times different, and that blood demon has even stepped through the law's gateway. However, 97 still won so simply. In terms of origin law comprehension, most of us don't even compare to him. Immediately the group of guards all looked shocked at Luo Fong. Luo Fong was shocked within. And the Lord before hadn't spoken much in detail before too. Looks like, my battle before had been completely monitored. Luo Fong thought. Right, him and the vice captain, are the considered to be right hand and left hand of the blood god. Them and the blood god Baki were all sector lord level. Sector lords could use their world energy, the wonder of the world energy. This was something his earth body had yet to discover, it was normal. 97. The captain number one smiled at Luo Fong. From now on, we are all life and death brothers, all blood god guards. Hmm, Luo Fong nodded. Ha ha, come, follow me. The captain looked at the others. 
All of you return to your posts, go back to your training whatever. Yes, Captain. Understood, Captain. Little thing, we'll chat next time. A group of bronze silhouettes spoke and became beams of lights heading in all directions. The captain brought Luo Fong. They were walking along the bottom of the huge pit and talking along the way, the ancient god ruins is the most ancient and mysterious place of our Blood River continent. Back then, our ancient warriors of the continent defended against the outsiders here. The outsiders were extremely strong, you cannot even begin to imagine. Ah. Luo Foam was shocked. Just how strong are the outsiders? I don't know either. Number one shook his head. Anyway they are just terrifying. Just imagine, back then many undying spirits fell in this ancient god ruins. From this, you should already know how intense and tragic that battle was. Enough about the outsiders, I need to warn you of, the ancient god ruins. Don't wander about alone here. Number one emphasized. The Lord is training in his palace here. The duty of us blood god guards is to protect him, killing enemies around. As he is training here, naturally we are all training here in the ruins too. Hmm, Luo Foam nodded. Training in the ancient god ruins was a good thing. Whirlpool. Luo Foam pretended to be curious. In truth, he had already seen it before. HM, this bottom and the top part of the pit, the aura is already thick enough. Number one said shocked. However the closer you get to the whirlpool core, the thickness grows even more. I've heard that in the core center, the thickness reaches close to ten times. Close to ten times. Luo Fong was truly shocked now. Before, he had made it to a region of eight times, he could already see with his naked eye the core center of the whirlpool, and did not dare to approach closer. Hmm, number one emphasized. It's very dangerous there, even my willpower can at most take up to five times only. I've heard that our Lord is able to reach a region of seven times. Seven times. Luo Fong thought, just weaker than himself. Hence, you have to be careful. Number one emphasized. The moment you rush in and get invaded by the killing aura willpower, you will become like the blood demon you defeated before. Hmm, Luo Fong nodded seriously. Luo Fong was shocked. Millions of such places. Follow me to the palace. The captain became a beam of light. Luo Fong followed. Luo Fong looked ahead at this palace that was erected amidst the red aura. It was about two kilometers in length and width, and was a total of seven stories tall. Come in. The captain entered and Luo Fong followed. Very quickly arriving at the second level. Ah. Luo Fang's ears moved. Looking in the distant room, that door was open, from within it, weak howls resounded. The captain looked at Luo Fang's expression and explained. That's where we tame the blood demons. Ah. Luo Fong nodded. Blood demons, also the mad warriors. Our blood god guard living quarters are on the third level. The captain arrived at the third level and followed the pathway, simultaneously pointing at a 1m wide walkway, beside every room is a number, from 1 to 200. Right now, 96 of them are taken, yours will be 97. Third level of the palace, room 97, the door automatically opened. D. A green light shined on Luo Fong who had just entered. This is. Luo Fong was shocked. Don't be shocked. This is a quantum computer that manages the entire palace. The captain smiled. These quantum computers were acquired from the outsiders back from the ancient god battles. However, creating these quantum computers was extremely hard. Even among the undying shrines, only the upper levels have it. Ah! Luo Fong gave a look of envy. Quantum computers? 
There was plenty in the universe, one could buy as much as he wanted. And he had a living AI that was much better. Room 97, it was 20m tall and 30m long and wide room. This is your genetic armor. The captain pointed at a bunch of stuff neatly organized on the ground. These genetic armors will defend you according to how strong your genetic energy is. Simultaneously, it will change according to your will and is able to seal up all vital areas. Even if broken, it can quickly regenerate. It's a very advanced armor. Only very few in Blood River Continent have it. Hmm, Luo Fong stared at the bronze armor. This is a communication device. The captain pointed at the bracelet beside. Wear it, and through it, you can contact the other guards and the Lord. Simultaneously, the Lord will know where you are from it. Luo Fong hesitated a little. Communication device. Probably more of a surveillance device. The Lord has ordered that no blood god guard, without the Lord's orders, can leave him more than 100,000 kilometers. If one does so, he would be deemed a traitor and killed. The captain stared at Luo Fong and emphasized. You must always remember, the moment you betray the Lord, with his future position in the Undying Shrine, there's nowhere for you to run in the entire Blood River continent. Understood. Luo Fong nodded. Boom. Luo Fong felt the ground of the palace slightly tremble. Boom. Boom. Trembles resounded all over. It was a heavy sound, it almost felt like the footsteps of a giant that was nearby. Hmm. The captain was shocked too, quickly leaving the room. Those hooves were as thick as water jars, sturdy and forceful. Its entire body was bronze in color, and the eyes were blood red. The most peculiar thing was its horns, they were so sharp that it made hearts tremble. Just from its walking along the pathway alone, its horns seemed to tear through the air and shake the space. Lord Chi Nyo. Number one bowed. Hmm. That four-story tall beast Chi Nyo gazed down at Luo Fong. A fierce energy emanated from him, he's the new 97. Yes, Lord Chi Nyo. Number one said, simultaneously communicating to Luo Fong, 97, this beast Chi Nyo, is even stronger than our Lord. His position in the Undying Shrine is very high too. He's like brothers with our Lord. Luo Fong was stunned. Wild beast, their position in the Blood River Continent was very low. There were those that were tamed and used as riding beasts, others were directly killed and their bodies were used for materials. In all, the beasts had always been suppressed by humans. A wild beast Chi Nyo was actually able to hold a high position within the Undying Shrine. Even if it was strong, it wasn't an Undying. Yet, for it to get a high position that is simply unbelievable. The Undying Shrine, that was the highest governing echelon of Blood River Continent. Luo Fong was shocked, simultaneously bowing and looking at the wild beast ahead of him, Lord Chi Nyo. The wild beast Chi Nyo stood in the walkway, lowering his gaze to look at the tiny dot. Hmm. A burning energy emitted from his nostrils, almost like two burning heat waves, his red eyes stared hard at Luo Fong. Rumble. Lord Chi Nyo. The captain number one shouted. 97 is still only cloud level. Hmm. A low sound resounded from his nostrils, following which the pressure vanished. This 97 is not bad. Chi Nyo's voice rumbled. I think he can take very strong killing aura as well. Here's two Blood River crystals. Take it as a gift from Lord Chi Nyo and absorb it well. After you've absorbed these two, come and look for me for the third one. Two prism-shaped crystals suddenly appeared in mid-air and floated towards Luo Fong. While floating, the beauty of the blood-red crystals made one's heart tremble. Blood River Crystal 
Luo Feng's eyes gleamed and extended his hands to receive them. Quickly thank Lord Chinyo. The captain said. Thank you Lord Chinyo. Luo Feng bowed. Hmm. Another two hot waves of heat burst from his nostrils and with a snort, he gradually walked away. Each step from his thick hooves, the moment one landed, he was already far away, finally he vanished. This wild beast Chinyo has such strong pressure and strength. Back when the captain said he was stronger than blood god Baki, that was definitely the truth, Luo Feng watched Chinyo vanish. Feeling happy within, he gripped the two crystals gleefully. He he, these were the easiest crystals he had acquired. Up to that dfrm no slash v slash e slash lb i n dot c o slash m. Back in Swallow Mound City, he had acquired fourteen crystals, Rockwind Brothers a total of three, Pure Feather Tau one, Undying Shrine Envoys ten. Later, in the ancient god ruins, he encountered the four geniuses from the Undying Shrine. While ambushed, he killed one of them, and was able to acquire one more. A total of fifteen crystals. For every one of them, he had to kill to get them. Only these two in his hand. Ninety-seven, as long as you can absorb, Lord Chinyo will supply you with Blood River crystals. The tall and sturdy bronze armored warrior number one laughed carefree. Right now amongst our blood god guards, only five of them are able to absorb three crystals and successfully become blood warriors. I have high hopes for you. Hmm. Luo Feng nodded, following which he asked curiously. This blood river crystal, I can ask for as many as I want. Of course not. Ah. Luo Feng nodded. Sounds like. Within this blood god Baki's place, the person in charge of giving crystals was actually Chi Nyo. You should know everything now. Number one nodded. Right now you can train within the training grounds of the palace or look for an isolated spot outside. You are here as a guard and not a prisoner. However the single requirement, you should know right. 100,000 kilometers, I have to be within a 100,000 kilometers from the Lord at all times. Luo Feng smiled. Very good. Number one nodded and left. Palace level 3, training room 97. Blood God Bachi, Wild Beast Chi Nyo, 96 Blood God Guards. Luo Feng's mind was swiftly filled with thoughts. According to the gathered data, Blood God Baki should be a Sector Lord Pinnacle who had absorbed eight crystals and was known as a one in a trillion years absolute genius in the Undying Shrine. This was definitely a high ranking. Wild Beast Chi Nyo is stronger than Ba Chi. Like brothers with Ba Chi, he should be the second most important figure in this power. Ninety-six Blood God guards all have high talents. They have two sector lords and ninety-four domain lords. Right now in this ancient god ruins, they are mainly here for blood god Baki's training. Luo Feng instantly understood, why during his two years in his huge pit quarters, he never discovered any warriors below. This was because blood god Baki was in training, and the guards couldn't leave too far. From the looks of it. Even though I've become a guard, Later on it should be more relaxed. Luo Feng wore the bronze armor, and boots, and was just about to leave when five silhouettes entered. 97. 97. These five were all dressed in the same bronze armor, their physiques however were completely different. They all smiled and waved. 12, 19, 33, 78, 83. Luo Feng shouted familiarly. When we were in our training rooms earlier, we discovered Lord Qi Nyo had arrived. Number 12, who looked almost like a skinny teenager smiled, according to the old rules, Lord Qi Nyo should have given you two crystals right? Hmm, Luo Feng nodded. 97, have you absorbed any crystals before? Beside, 
the fat and bulky 19 asked. I've absorbed one before. Luo Fong said. Right, you cannot disrespect him at all. Whoever does, he will get extremely angry. The handsome 83 said. Ah. Luo Fong was curious, I actually don't know his strength, how can he be even stronger than Lord Blood God? Ha. Huh. Wild beasts are separated into four categories. Category 1 reaches the ground level at maturity, 2 reaches the sky level, 3 the cloud level, for the domain level. 12 spoke cleanly and fast. And the wild beast Qin Yo, is in the fourth category. He was born with a domain, a gold domain. The higher the category, it represents the stronger bloodline and the more exceptional body. You should know. This blood river crystal can be used by any flesh and blood living creatures. Not just us humans, wild beasts, too can absorb the crystals. Twelve smiled. Luo Fong felt a clap of thunder in his mind. Any flesh and blood living creatures can use. Huh, 97, you don't seem to know. 97, Blood God Guard 83 exclaimed. Compared to humans, the wild beasts' bodies are stronger and more exceptional. They can normally absorb more than us humans. According to the experience of the Undying Shrine, beasts that are proficient in metal type normally absorb the crystals even better and gain more benefits. Qi Nyo is a high-level beast, category 4, who is also proficient in metals. Luo Feng stood there stunned. Silence. 97. What's wrong 97? The other five shouted. Ah. Luo Feng awoke, exclaiming, I was too shocked. From the books I've read, it's already been countless years since the appearance of a black warrior. It's already become a legend. I didn't expect Lord Qi Nyo to have already absorbed twelve Blood River Crystals. Humans and beasts are different. No point in being jealous. Luckily, Category 4 beasts are very rare. The five exclaimed. Hmm, right. Luo Feng followed suit beside. Finally the five left. When they left, with only Luo Feng remaining in the training room, he shut the door and revealed a look of ecstasy. My God! My God! I'm such an idiot, really an idiot. I actually didn't even think of it. Luo Feng's look was that of pure ecstasy. His fists gripped tight and madness roared within, any blood and flesh living being can absorb the crystals. Blood and flesh, right, the blood river crystal is absorbed through the blood and it changes the body's cell structure. Humans are blood and flesh life forms. So, is the golden horned beast. Luo Feng was extremely excited. It's extremely taxing for my human body to absorb the crystals. However, what about the golden horned beast? They had said earlier that the higher the level of the body, the easier it is to absorb. Especially those proficient in metal types. Even though, I don't know why one has to be proficient in metal types to have better benefits for the absorption. However, the golden horned beast, that is the most pinnacle bloodline in the entire universe, reaching Sector Lord at maturity. It is born with three great natural talents. It is proficient in metal types, is also a favored child of the universe gold laws. Luo Feng was extremely excited. Compared to the golden horned beast, that wild beast Qi Nyo is nothing. If that wild beast Qi Nyo can absorb twelve blood river crystals, just how many can my golden horned beast absorb? Ha! <laughs> Luo Feng couldn't suppress his ecstasy within. He had a feeling that the golden horned beast was originally his strongest trump card. And absorbing the blood river crystals may give a new change to the already intrepid and powerful golden horned beast. 